All right, consideration of proclamation for mental illness awareness week. Debbie Roberts? Yeah. Debbie. On the Appalachian South. Yeah. Come on up. Hello, I am Debbie Roberts, and I am a member of the Appalachian South Council of President of the local NAMI National Alliance for Mental Illness. Hopefully, uh, soon we'll all know exactly what that acronym is, <coughs> like we do AA for Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, our NAMI is less than three weeks, uh, three years old, and I just want to share some of the things that we have been able to do. NAMI is a nonprofit organization, and it's not only a support group. NAMI is very strong with education and advocating. And um, I think one of, well, of course, it's always going to stigma. Stigma has been the problem for years and years and years. And we really should not have to be embarrassed about a biological disorder. And that's what uh, mental illness is. It is a biological disorder. It happens to be of uh, my brain versus my pancreas. So I have a disease that affects my brain, and my brain is not able to help me in a rational way deal with it. So you can see it, it can be a continuous cycle if we don't discuss it, educate ourselves as well as doctors and everyone. But getting rid of the stigma and understanding is such a treatable illness. And that is what I think we try locally to do also. But just some of the things that we have been able to do, and the town of Franklin and Macon County overall, everyone is so receptive and so open to let's discuss it, let's talk about it, here's the problem, now let's work in the solution, which helps in any situation. But for less than three years old, our membership has gone from, in 09, it was 20. At the present, we have 43 <coughs> members. Three of us have gone and trained, and we were able to teach family-to-family -family classes here. Uh, we had 19 family members that came to this class. We were hoping to have five or six. We had 19 family members for this class. This was a 12-week, pretty intense class. And we had parents of adult children in this class that shared with us. They had never said the word mental illness. And their, their adult child may have been 40 years old. And one particular couple has never used the word mental illness, has never used the word schizophrenia because of shame and stigma that somehow it was their fault. Or they, of course, parents so often feel it was my fault, I did something wrong, which, of course, is not the okay. case. Mean, these are family members that their life changed in a 12-week period because they learned some options different classes, certain things to do, educating yourself about the illness, talking with your doctor, advocating for yourself or for their loved one, you have to do it. Um, and also, with a uh, uh, grant from the town of Franklin, we also help co-sponsor its crisis intervention team training, and that's with um, FCC and Smoky Mountain LME. We put this on, we had 15 law enforcement officers from three different counties. We had six at that time from Macon County. Um, this was a 40 hour training. It is, it's basically a jail diversion program and it gives law enforcement um, de-escalation skills, the opportunity to see there are options versus, you know, you have to immediately get the magistrate and have involuntary commitment there are, are other options now. So that, has, and we also, it was so well received, we are having another CIT training in Macon County the end of October. And we already have 20 signed up, and we have eight to 10 from Macon County, and I, we're working on, I think we will have someone this time possibly as well from the town, from the city please. So another thing we're very excited about uh, two of our members were able to attend training, uh, which is called peer-to-peer -peer training, and we will be having those classes we're looking at the spring, and that's for consumers, someone with a mental illness, uh, coming in, working with and learning, and these are classes are taught by some of us that actually have lived it. I mean, we have a mental illness, and recovery is, is key. That is what, where NAMI and so many of the organizations, you're working toward recovery. Um, I, 
you can have a very balanced, productive life. I didn't think so either until three years ago, after going for you know 25 years, uh, the roller coaster and the, the circuits we live in. So there are so many good things. Also, we have our support group meetings. We meet twice a month, the first and third Thursday, and we are now holding our meetings at the community center. We will be there from now on. They were wonderful and we're able to have them there. Those are for family members, consumers, of, you know, anyone with a mental illness. Also, I was able to attend uh, the NAMI North Carolina State Conference in Raleigh a couple of weeks ago and listen, we are the farthest, farthest west. We are the smallest, one of the smallest and the fastest growing NAMI. And they actually recognized when I said <coughs> Appalachian State, I mean Appalachian South, they knew we were making County. So that is, and, and we have so much support from them. Um, we have this week, uh, Mental Illness Awareness Week, and this year it's changing attitudes, changing lives. And that's all we need to do is, you know, come out of the shadows, talk about it as an illness, learn uh, coping skills, life skills, and have a very productive, happy life, and I am the out of it because I do have a very productive, wonderful life here in Franklin Macon County. And I thank you all so much for all of your support. Well, you, you come to ask us to sign a proclamation, you better ask us. Oh. Nice. <laughs> and I would like to know if you would give us a proclamation for Mental Illness Awareness Week, October 3rd through the 10th, 2010. What well, says the board? <laughs> Motion aside. All in favor? Oh, come on around here. Okay. Jeez. I always forget. I was just going to chat with you all and tell you what was going on. <laughs> Stay the fourth. Yeah. Fourth. Fourth. Yeah. Fourth. Yeah. Fourth. Yeah. Fourth. Yeah. Fourth. Yeah. All right. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Oh, I get a copy? Okay, she's got a text first. Okay. Send me a bill. <laughs> 